Hi guys and welcome to Tiger Tactical Survival uh, Tutorials and Gear and Kit Reviews. First up we've got the Gerber LMF Infantry. Um, it's a nice knife, it's 10.59 inches long from tip to hilt and the blade is 4.4 inches made from 420 stainless steel. This is my go-to bushcraft knife uh, when I need something a little bit heavier than say a Mora um, or the Sog Seal Pop which is my uh, second favourite. It's very, very thick blade, you can see there. Drop point blade, and also you've got this half serration here. Um, I'm not a massive fan of serrated edges on blades. If I need to be cutting rope, straps, anything like that, I tend to have a, a separate rescue knife with me anyway. Um, so I prefer that just to be just straight edged. But there we go. Uh, it retails for about £119. Uh, and I picked this one up in Canada for 109 Canadian dollars. Uh, things to note then, it's got a nice big chunky grip with the uh, rubber sort of diamond grip on it which makes it a really nice ergonomical knife to hold in your hands. It's got a big heavy pommel there which is great for uh, any sort of hitting, mashing, uh, knocking things off style thing. Recently in Scotland I used that to, to knock off a fair few limpets and things to uh, cook those up. It was quite useful for that. Um, as for sharpening, Unfortunately, it's slightly too thick for my Gapco uh, angle sharpener, but luckily Gerber include a sharpener in the sheath as well. Okay, this is a Kydex sheath, um, you can attach it to pretty much anything. It also comes with a black nylon sheath there that, that mounts on, um, with a nice heavy duty belt loop and also molly attachments on the back. So the knife itself then, um, obviously it's probably a little bit much, a little bit too heavy, a bit too bulky uh, for your everyday sort of carry um, type knife. But in a survival situation or an extended trip, uh, you can really, really rely on it. I find it to be very reliable. Um, it holds its out of the box. It's pretty sharp, um, and it holds its its sharpness as well. Obviously, that depends on what angle you sharpen it at. Um, I keep this relatively low um, so that I can retain an edge on it for a longer period of time. The three holes that you see there uh, can be used to lash it to a stick to create a spear, something like that, um, for use on, on catching slightly larger game and that sort of thing. Overall then, it's a very, very good heavyweight bushcraft survival knife um, and it's the number one I'd recommend for an extended trip. If you want to book any of our courses, please go to tigertactical.co.uk forward slash book. Pre-registry is now open and it's absolutely free. Hopefully see you in the summer.